What's going on YouTube? Tass here bringing you a special unique episode of Foot Champions. It is a Foot Champions weekend league with the Arsenal team. And as you can see, I've decided to throw, uh, wear a throwback jersey because the majority of these players uh, used to play with this brand on it. And to be honest, bar that, it's when we had our most success. So I thought I might as well wear the last shirt, that um, our last season at Highbury. But let's get into this. So guys, these 11 players are either once Arsenal greats or maybe there's one player specifically you say, hey, Tass, he isn't an Arsenal great. The fans hate him. All players, the previous players, are players that achieved a lot at the football club. So um, before I carry on, what the hell is Jens Lehmann doing? We go 1-0 down to an absolute god squad, by the way. I haven't had enough uh, of an intro to talk about what I want to talk about. We're playing against an absolute tank here. We go 1-0 down via Jens Lehmann doing that. Luckily, Overmars gets us back in the game early. And um, to be honest, it's pretty shameful if you're my opponent right now, if you lose to this team. Beautiful stuff. Burkamp somehow gets that under control, buries it. And if you get beat by a couple goals, I think it's even more embarrassing, to be honest, because I'm... Um, you know, I'm not working with great things here. Okay, you know, I'm meant to be decent at FIFA, but still. He's got an absolute god squad, but here it is. Freddy Lundberg, ice in his veins, guys. This guy was pretty clutch for me this week, and he done a job. I put him right centre mid or left centre mid, um, depending. Sometimes I, you know, switched it around, but that's where I played him. He was pretty decent for me, but I'll get right into it. My MVP, guys. Dennis Burkamp. What a player. If he had pace... We'd be dealing with somebody who could potentially get into my god squad or whatever you want to call it, my main foot champions team. And as you can see, we've won 4 1. I believe I tweeted this out because I was actually that impressed with myself and gave myself a little pat on the back for winning that game. Um, sort of calling him out, but uh, he was a good player. Um, things just fell my way and we won 4 1 against an absolute god squad. So, as you can see right there, we've got nine games left. The record at the moment is 29 and 2. So we got nine, uh, nine games remaining to get, try to get the 38 win mark. Now, look at this finish. Guys, why am I just saying look at this finish? Because I haven't, I haven't even had enough of an intro to talk about Dennis as much as I want. Dennis Burkamp, right? I'm saying it to you guys right here, right now. I'm not hyping him up because there's certain players in this team that did not live up to expectation. Dennis Burkamp has got the best shot I have personally used on Vive 17. I'm talking about... Finishing from close range, mid range and long range. The best strike. Now his issue is to get him into a really top quality foot champions team is his pace. He lacks pace. But guys, he saved me this week and without him we're not getting whatever amount of wins that we end up with. And as you can see, nice little cutback and um, right here guys, the guy, uh, it's one at half time. And right here, that's it. That's all there is. That's all she wrote. Um, it was a dead game. Uh, not much to talk about, unfortunately, and uh, just had to toss it about the back, etc. The thing that a lot of people say nowadays. So yeah, a 1-0 win, but don't worry, it gets exciting. There's a couple highlights from Burkamp, I'm pretty sure, that are pretty special. But anyway, guys, we're pushing for 38 wins here. The main goal was to get top 100 with this team. Uh, that was the main reason why I'd done it. Um... Whatever players stuck out to me that I don't normally use, obviously I use Vieira, so obviously he was good. But uh, I'd say Overmars was a letdown, and as I say that, he puts one top bins. Overmars was a letdown. Petit was very solid defensively. Uh, pretty poop. Um, if you like to, you know, play with... And look at that flick from Burkamp. What is Burkamp doing? What is Burkamp doing, guys? I'm, I'm telling you, these are just little highlights. You guys won't even know the real thing. What I saw from him this weekend, and a nice little long shot there from Overmars, what I saw from him this weekend, honestly, guys, I don't get astounded easily. And before you say, oh, it's I bet it's because he's an Arsenal player, Tass, that's why you're talking high about him. I'm telling you right now, the majority of these players that played, didn't. I wasn't impressed with. I'd say two players stuck out. Burkamp and Sol Campbell. Sol Campbell was an absolute brick wall. I'll be honest with you. I'm not exaggerating. An absolute brick wall. It makes me think, like, his style of playing the centre-back role. Surely, maybe if I got Rio Ferdinand in my team. Rio Ferdinand could be an upgraded Sol Campbell on FIFA. Um, but yeah, as you can see, nice little short corner goal. We get there. And uh, Lundberg has the ball here. Lundberg gives it to Burkamp. Look at this for a strike. Left foot top bins. I believe his left foot is a four-star left foot. We're not even dealing with a five-star left foot here, guys. So, a four-star weak foot. And, um, I mean, 
What am I doing right now? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, what's Layman? Layman's had a mare, but that one's on me. That's not on Layman. But fortunately, we do do something off kickoff here to restore the two-goal lead because being one goal up in foot champions, guys, especially with this dodgy uh, team than my usual team, uh, it's pretty worrying. So right here, it's a nice little build-up here. We're being a bit patient. Sanchez gives it to Lundberg. What's Lundberg going to do? Oh, Lundberg has just sliced. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Lundberg's been doing stuff like that. Things that won't come up in the highlights. Maybe it came out that time, but I'm telling you, Lundberg stood out, but the main two, Sol Campbell, Burkham. Now, Burkham, I want to get into him. I want to talk quite a bit about him, guys, because... Uh, as I said, the best striker of the football I've played with, any player, and I've used the best players, the so-called best players on Foot Champions for FIFA 17. I'm telling you guys, I'm not... Over exaggerate. I believe he goes for around 600k. You guys can't afford a team of the year Suarez. And stuff like that. You've got to get him in. He is an absolute beast. In the cam role. However, I'm telling you, you could play left strike. You can play anywhere, guys. I'll be honest with you. But a nice little build up again. Another nice goal. We're, pre we're balling pretty nicely in here. Do I need to say any more? Look at this. Turn and just finesse that. Finesse that top bins. Like, it's nothing. I'm even Xbox recording it in the moment. I mean, it's. I think I've scored better goals than that in my time, but it's just like, he's done it so frequently, guys, that it's just stupid. And sometimes, by the way, look at this team we've come up against. A blue Suarez, a striker, Ronaldo, Messi, and Neymar. But sometimes, guys, somebody would have a really good long shot. Like, Petit has a really good long shot. But then in mid range and stuff, he's not very good. Uh, although, I believe, as soon as I, I talk maybe bad about a play, he's about to score. So, Petit 1 0. But, Burkham, I'm talking, guys from a general striking aspect, like all over. Close range, mid range, long range. As I said, either foot, volley, half volley, um, getting shrugged, I don't give a damn. I've played 40 games with him and I've understood what he's given me. He lacks pace, guys. That's why he can never get into my real team, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Dennis, but from a striking football ability, if you just want to hit them, um, if you just want to whack him, he is the best I've played with. And I've played with the best players on foot. So Dennis Burkham, shout out to you. You were something else, sir. Um, and right here, Burkham, he's a baller. Look at him. Now he's setting other people up. And Alexis, what a finish on the left foot. Alexis Sanchez. Ice in his veins compared to Overmars. A lot better than Overmars, if I'm honest with you. And right here, I think this is the luckiest goal of the weekend. Try a little back heel. Get straight to Burkham. And Burkham just decides to... So I said, not make the keeper as you do. And that's 2-0, and that's usually game. So, right here, Burkamp hasn't had enough. Gives it to Alexis, gives him the spinner -roo. Look at that little dribble. Gives it to Overmars. You can't be missing that. And that is 3-0. Game over. Now, I've harped on about Burkamp a lot. Petit, pretty good. However, not my cup of tea, because when I get the ball with him, you know what I'm trying to break a bus down so and we've got two games left i haven't really spoke about the gameplay enough and another ronaldo spc suarez pogba sort of combo and um yeah guys hang on before i carry on that's a pen and okay i'm xbox recording quite a bit but that is a pen let's just have a look i've xbox recording again am i missing something is that probably not one of the worst things you guys have seen? I don't know where the pen is. Sometimes like, after an aerial hit, maybe you can wipe the guy out or something. Nothing has happened. And we are 1-0 down at half-time. So I'm going to talk a bit about, bit about the game before I hop into the uh, players anymore. 1-0 down here. We need something special. Overmars driven shot. Boom. 1-1. One, one. Quick replies. You can see 47th minute. And right here, guys. So I'll let you know my tactic here. It's 87th minute. We're most likely going extra time. But I don't even want him to get the last attack. So there's many times here I could have gone and tried, you know, a build-up goal. But I've waited to get the last attack of the game. As you can see right there, I could have passed it inside over there to that left striker. I've came all the way back to ensure I get the last attack. So I see right here, two minutes added on. Now I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's go to work. Vieira sets us a screen that he shouldn't. And uh, right here, unfortunately, you get intercepted. Huge opportunity. Lundberg, great save from Buffon, I believe. Buffon, who's gone clutch against Barcelona in the Champions League. Leave your comments below about the Champions League. What happened? Barcelona getting crumbled. Are they going to do a PSG V2? I highly doubt it. Uh, Juve have a very smart brain, a footballing brain. I highly doubt that let it happen. But let, leave in the comments below, do you think Barca can do the unthinkable again? But other than that, guys, right here, we're about to see a clutch moment. It's either a clutch moment, guys, or it's a bottle moment. 
I don't know what you want to call it. Alexis is doing what he typically does in real life. Fighting and scrapping for everything. Lundberg, ice in his vein, guys. It might be an open air, but you got to be there. Right place, right time. And after that, we got to toss it about, and we get the W. So, one game remaining, but... I wanted to say Sol Campbell, huge shout out to him. So you guys that are struggling with coins, I believe Sol Campbell goes for about 200k. If you play foot champions every week, you should be able to get like a 200k centre back by now. Come on, guys. So if you can, Sol Campbell, brick. Absolute brick. Koscielny, not too good, I'll be honest with you. Ashley Cole, Cashley Cole. Um, some Arsenal fans I know right now watching be like, Tass, why you got him in, you fraud. Come on. He achieved a lot at the club. No matter what we think of him, he achieved a lot. And look at this for a finish. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. You're only seeing a couple of what Dennis is doing. Now, that driven shot ain't normal. And uh, we're about to see another shot that ain't, is not normal. What is that? Incredible finish from Mbolo, I believe that is. Incredible 1-1. One, one. We're in trouble again, but 65th minute, Alexis gives him a little wiggle. Gives him a little dance. Sol Campbell gives it to Lumba. Gets tackled. Scrappy, scrappy stuff here. We're just fighting fighting stuff's getting blocked what's going on alexis find something two one and that's a huge goal to be honest because after that i can just chill a bit however we're not done lundberg dancing left right and center petit what am i gonna do i get away with murder to be honest with you we get away with murder cut back alexis He's been scoring the clutch goals i'll be honest with you in general in the 40 games he's been scoring the clutch goals now that's it guys, 38 wins, we secure top 100 and I believe actually I got first for 38 wins, I had the highest skill rating and usually I don't have high skill rating so I believe that shows that I've played absolute freaks and as you can tell the amount of Ronaldo's I had to play against even in the last 10 games uh, kind of shows that but um, yeah first in skill rating, first in 38 wins, 38 wins am I happy with it? I'd have loved to recreate the Invincible, get in the 40, but it just wasn't to be. Um, I did stream a couple of the games, and streaming is a bit tough. So right there, as you can see, 22nd. I believe I ended up 23rd. Somebody came up uh, ahead of me. But as you can see right there, for 38 wins, number one in skill rating with the Arsenal team. It's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie to you. I sometimes get 38 with my main team. So if I switch my thoughts around like that, it's a, it's a job well done for me. But... Um, Dennis Burkham, guys, huge shout out. I'm going to show the stats on the screen now. He's, I believe he's got more than a goal per game. Um, assists is around, maybe around 30 for the 40 games. He was just, it's not even about stats, guys. Stats don't mean anything. Take my word for it. Dennis Burkham has got the best shot on FIFA 17. I've said it. But, um... Other than that, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. The co-op... Man, God knows what's going on with the co-op. Harry is tickling his whatever he's tickling. Um, don't know what he's doing. We haven't even played him yet, but uh, not sure when that will be out. This is obviously out on the Wednesday. Um, and then we, I believe the monthly rewards will be dropping with the weekly rewards. So that video will be pretty hyped up. Uh, finally get the legend back for you guys because last month I didn't play the um, 40 games for the weekend. But uh, other than that, guys, I guess that's it for the video. Um, Burkamp. Dennis Burkamp. Say no more. See you later. Peace.